so what's driving this, uh, this backlog of projects? Um, there's a couple of things. You know, on the natural gas side, um, the LNG exports, um, you know, at, uh, we've got uh, LNG export facility at Elba Island. We also have um, an LNG, uh, sorry, an import facility at Elba Island. We're currently working um, and have announced a project with Shell um, to do an export facility at Elba Island, um, which uh, is not contingent on getting the DOE approval because it is, uh, it is FTA only volumes. We're also looking at a potential project at Gulf LNG. Um, so, you know, the, uh, the LNG exports are driving growth. Um, demand for natural gas in Mexico is driving growth. Um, the growing south um, power demand, uh, power generation demand in the southeast is driving growth. Also, just the, the incredible supply of, you know, condensate and NGL volumes coming out of these shale plays is driving a fair amount of growth. The, uh, the oil sands production up in Canada is driving a huge project for us on, on Trans Mountain. Um, and then on the, uh, on the terminal side, you know, we've got growth being driven by export coal and also all the, uh, the, oil, the crude oil volumes, the condensate volumes that are coming out of the shale are driving tremendous opportunities for us on the, uh, on the terminal side to store those volumes, um, primarily in the Houston Ship Channel, um, and in, uh, in Cushing, and then also um, on the, uh, in, up in Edmonton as a result of the oil sand supply. So lots of uh, different uh, diverse energy themes driving the $13.6 billion in expansion projects.